Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. One generation of devices, one generation of chips. In the current Chinese chip market, lithography machines are the biggest weakness. Especially for EUV lithography machines, only ASML in the Netherlands can manufacture them in the world. However, because the United States has revised its regulations, Chinese companies have always had difficulties. Under this circumstance, domestic chips have also begun to invest in research, hoping to make up for the lost technology as soon as possible. However, with the breakthrough of domestic lithography machines, ASML is also selling products other than EUV to the mainland at lower prices in terms of domestic lithography equipment. According to published data, in just one and a half years, ASML has exported 78 sets of various mid to low end lithography equipment to China. By doing this, ASML can certainly increase the production and output of domestic chips, but it will also put pressure on domestic lithography machine manufacturers. Not to mention that ASML is almost the dominant player in high-end lithography machines. Even in low-end lithography machines, ASML can compete with domestic lithography machine companies. ASML has invested a lot of money and has formed a complete technical system. However, China has broken this ice and its foundation in the market is not stable. Wafer manufacturing is a very heavy industry, and the funds required for procurement account for about 80% of the investment required in the entire manufacturing process. This is also a huge price that semiconductor manufacturing companies cannot afford. Therefore, they prefer ASML compared to domestic equipment. Once a domestic lithography machine fails in the domestic market, Chinese companies will not be able to make money. This will not only lead to continuous product updates and improvements, but will also dampen the enthusiasm of researchers and create a vicious cycle. This is undoubtedly detrimental to the domestic semiconductor industry. However, things took a turn for the worse. After Russia announced restrictions on inert gases such as neon, many industry insiders believed that this would bring an overwhelming victory to China's lithography industry. In the end, what happened? As we all know, a photolithography equipment is very cumbersome, involving cutting-edge technologies such as light sources and lenses, and thousands of additional materials. In the photolithography process, inert gases such as neon are used as important raw materials and are widely used in photolithography technology, also known as DUV lithography machines. Russia and Ukraine account for 70% of the world's neon supply, and approximately 20% of Ukraine's neon supply is produced by ASML. But in April, the two largest manufacturers of neon lamps announced they were halting production, and ASML launched new ads. However, unexpectedly, ASML's new neon supply pipeline has not yet been finalized, and on June 3, the Russian government announced that it would only limit its production scope to licensed areas. As US and European technology companies are aggressively entering Russia, ASML initially expected that it would also be difficult for them to obtain relevant licenses due to the suspension of a large number of businesses or the obstruction of supply channels. 
Without the continuous and stable supply of high-purity neon raw materials, ASML's plan to expand production scale will be difficult to achieve, especially deep ultraviolet lithography capabilities will be severely damaged. At the same time, the competitive pressure faced by similar domestic products in foreign markets will also be greatly reduced. If ASML cannot provide sufficient DUV equipment in order to meet the needs of the growing chip market, local foundry companies are likely to be forced to give up, which will cause a greater impact on China's lithography machine market and will be an important S turning point. Obviously, Russia has sent representatives to visit. Due to the rise of photolithography technology in China, insufficient neon is not a problem. After several years of rapid development, China's inert gas industry has now reached more than 60%, and Chinese companies such as Walter have mastered the manufacturing process of high-purity neon gas and technology five years ago. Given that China will export 65,000 cubic meters of inert gases to the world in 2021, the domestic production capacity of inert gases will be sufficient to meet the requirements of chip manufacturing and photolithography processes. Overall, ASML's fears have come true. In this case, it is not impossible for domestic lithography machines to catch up. Judging from the current situation, the domestic neon industry is undoubtedly ASML's first choice. However, just as Chinese companies will not export unlimitedly, this is another problem, because ASML has decided to comply with US practices and cannot sell EUV lithography machines to China. Not long ago, ASML announced that it would increase its investment in China and plans to hire another 200 people to expand its team in China. Although he claimed that the move was to promote China's business development, there is no such thing as courtesy in the world. It is obvious that he not only wants to gain more profits from China, the world's largest semiconductor consumer market, but also wants to acquire production capacity for scarce gases such as neon from Chinese companies. But in any case, the current situation is on China's side. As long as Chinese companies unite together, focus on independent research and development, and break up the domestic integrated circuit, lithography machine, and other industries, their development speed will, will be greatly accelerated. As Netizen said, if ASML wants China's neon, China's EUV lithography machine will be given to them.